Hi you guys, if you've been uh, struggling with a few of the constraints on uh, iOS, uh, getting uh, videos and music onto your uh, tablet, your iPhone or your iPad, uh, there's an application in both the Android store and the iOS uh, store that makes life really, really easy. Uh, the same application also works on your Mac, so you can have the web-based version on your Mac and you can transfer files very, very easily. Uh, quickly going to go through uh, a quick demonstration of how to, uh, say, get a, a film that you've downloaded or somebody's got on another device, may, uh, an Android device that you want to get onto your iPad or iPhone. And I'll quickly go through the application you need is an application called In InstaShare. It's available, like I say, for iOS and Android. So if we go on uh, the Android device as well and we go into downloads, uh, you can see that both uh, devices have the application running. Uh, you can see the InstaShare on the uh, iPad there and the InstaShare on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And you can see once the application's running, providing you're both on the same uh, Wi-Fi network, uh, you don't have to do anything, there's no configuration, but once you're running, each application picks up uh, the other device quite easily. You can see the iPads uh, straight away, it's picked up my uh, Note 8 and it's also picked up my Note 3. And to transfer stuff over, it's really, really simple and it's really, really quick. Uh, most of you who will know how to use Android will know that from uh, anywhere on your Android device, you can share to uh, multiple applications. So you can be actually in the application and share from there. It's a bit different on uh, some of the applications on iOS. So what uh, InstaShare have done on iOS, they've actually given you an interface where you can dra drag and drop items onto the particular uh, device you're sending it to. Now, on iOS, you're a bit limited for uh, applications, uh, files and uh, things you can share off iOS, I should say. So if I click on files, you can see there's nothing in the file there. And to be honest, there's no way of getting into the file structure to check files. So you can only pretty much send uh, a certain amount of things off iOS back to Android and uh, back to your Mac using this uh, application. But photos, you can see we can get to our photo library. So we can go into photo library, go into an album, pick a photograph, uh, and uh, drag and drop it in so we can go into an album say this one and we can pick a photograph and we can uh, if I can get around the uh, camera we can long press on the photograph if we can do it right and we can drag it over onto a device so we can go onto either device uh, so we can drag it over onto my Note 3 and if we go onto the Note 3 now we can see the uh, incoming file transfer iPad is sending one file total 108 uh, 84 kilobytes do you wish to accept so you have to accept it uh, you can always allow so I'll click always allow and you can see the file straight away transferred over so the picture file will transfer over uh, new file received which will go straight into the gallery on uh, an Android device uh, and you can see in the gallery straight away you can uh, you can find the files and photos that have been transferred over by going to the gallery and uh, viewing them that way and you can see there's a file that's been sent over uh, to do it the other way around, send over to your iPad uh, when you get back on the uh, main screen from your Android device and you can also do this from your Mac as well so you'd be on your Mac, you'd, you could be uh, any device that's uh, on any uh, application that's on your Mac or any file, any video, any song you want to transfer over you, you would use the same method but uh, certainly for people who've got uh, the foot in both camps, Android and uh, iOS this is a really useful way of Maybe taking some video on your Android device if that's your principal uh, device for a phone. Getting back home, if you only use an iPad, you can quickly send this file over to your iPad and you can view it rather than sending it through Dropbox or uploading it to uh, Google+. So to go the opposite way around, uh, you'd go whichever way you want to go, but we'll, we'll go into a file managing uh, program. and uh, No, we won't. We'll go into uh, a media program and we'll go into videos. Uh, just to show you how quickly you can transfer a video over and we'll look down a video list, we'll uh, pick a video very very quickly uh, we'll pick this uh, Beyonce video here and we'll click on it to start it and then, we'll and then we'll pause it and we'll go into the menu at the bottom and we'll go share via and as you can see on uh, Android, those of you using Android will be quite well aware that you've got a, a plethora of places you can share, it's very very open and the benefit of using this type of application, especially for your iPad, with it being so locked down, the iPad and iOS, and it's difficult to get things on and off there, this is a very, very easy way to do it. So what we go, what we do on the uh, Android device, we'd go down to uh, InstaShare, we'll click on that, 
And you can see it lasts me now where I want to transfer that particular file to. Now it's straight away found uh, my iPad. So we'll click on iPad. And then on your iPad instantly it'll ask if you want to accept this incoming file. You can do the same thing again. You can always allow. But we'll just go allow once. And you can see how fast the file's transferring. It's absolutely rapid. Even if you've... And the file is transferred over as quickly as that. So if you're transferring something like a Blu-ray film that you want to watch on a trip, it can be two, three, four uh, gigabytes. Literally, I found a gigabyte transfers in about 60 seconds. It's really, really quick. What I will say, once you get them on the, your iOS device, this video won't uh, automatically go into your video folder or your photographs that you're transferring won't go into a photo uh, gallery or your film roll, I should say, on your iOS device. So they're going to remain within the application. So if we back out the application now uh, and we go back into it, you can see that the uh, even if we kill it off, we can come back. You can see the uh, files are stored now. If we had multiple files here under files, you, all the different files you'd added would be in this list. And you can scroll through them. You can edit. You can click on edit there, and you can delete how you do with the other files on iOS. We can go down, and if we want to play it on the uh, uh, iPad, we just click on the file. It opens up the standard uh, player within uh, the iPad. Click on it once. And you can also use all the uh, fast dubbing features that you've got on there. You can go full screen, you can expand it, you can use full picture full screen, and you can also use AirPlay directly off your device to your uh, TV. So we'll get out of that quickly and we'll back out and we'll go down at the top. And you can see how fast it is to transfer files. That's only a fairly small file, 26 megabytes, but really, really quick. Uh, both applications are free uh, Google Play and uh, the I, uh, iPhone, iPad, uh, App Store, you can get them both free. What I will say, if you're getting the free application, they're very, very cheap to buy the full application, to be honest, and it's probably well worth buying them. Uh, the paid ones run on the store for a dollar, 80-odd pence UK, 80-odd cents in Europe. And you can see if you get the unpaid one, which is absolutely free, it works, there's no uh, limitation to what you can do on it. But if you get the... Uh, unpaid version you get uh, adverts on the bottom as you do with other applications so uh, hope this has been useful for you try it off uh, your macbook to your ipad have a go at sending files between the two android device and uh, ipad really really handy way of getting things uh, sent over if you don't want to use uh, itunes really really quick transfers superb quality when you're playing on an ios device and uh, all around it's uh, quite a good solution to a lot of problems that people have with transfer onto an iPad. Give me the thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, get more videos actually in the very near future and thanks for watching this video.